Hi guys. Today we have a question from Sony from Nigeria. We need to determine the amount of heat needed to transform a 1 kilo ice cube at negative 20 degrees Celsius to water with a temperature 100 degrees Celsius. We know the specific heat capacity of water and ice as well as the latent heat of fusion of ice. So to start off, we need to say that the amount of heat needed to transform the ice cube to the water with these temperatures consists of three amounts of heat. Q1, Q2, and Q3. Where Q1 is the amount of heat needed to change the temperature of the ice cube from negative 20 to 0 degrees Celsius. Q2 is the amount of heat needed to transform ice into the water at 0 degrees Celsius. And Q3 is the amount of heat needed to change the temperature of water from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. So let's begin with the first one. Q1 equals the mass of ice, or the water, they're the same here, times the heat capacity of ice, times the change of the temperature, delta T. So our mass is one, then the heat capacity is 2302, times the change of the temperature. We go from negative 20 to zero, so the change is 20 degrees Celsius. And this gives us 4,600, uh, sorry, 46,040 uh, joules. Here is the first amount of heat we're searching for. All right. So we found the amount of heat needed to change the temperature of ice cube from negative 20 to 0 degrees Celsius. Now let's search the amount of heat needed to change the state of our substance from ice to water. So Q2 equals the mass of the ice cube times the latent heat of fusion. And this is equal to 1 times 3.33 times 10 raised to the fifth power and gives us uh, 330,000 joules. Okay, so now Q3. This is the amount of heat needed to change the temperature of water from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. So here we will use the same formula as for Q1. So it goes like this. M times the specific heat capacity of water times the change of the temperature. And this is 1 times 4186 times the change of the temperature from 0 to 100 degrees, so the change is 100. And this gives us uh, 418,600 joules. So now we have all three amounts of heat that we need to find the total amount of heat to change from the ice at negative 20 degrees to water at 100 degrees. So. We found the amount of heat needed to change the temperature of ice from negative 20 to 0 degrees Celsius, the amount of heat needed to transform ice into water at 0 degrees Celsius, and the amount of heat needed to change the temperature of water from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. Now we just need to add them. So Q equals Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3, and this gives us 797,000 um, six, 640 joules, yes. So here's the total amount of heat that we were searching for. Thanks for watching us, stay tuned for updates, goodbye.